Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So let's see what we're doing for today's reading, shall we? So if you've been drawn to this video, then it's possible that there is information within this video that can help you through your day. I do enjoy doing these on a daily basis in the hope that this gives you some guidance through your day um, and helps you potentially to make some decisions on things that are going on in your life right now. So to connect with me, first, please like and subscribe to my channel. And then closing your eyes, focus your attention on a question that you have in your life right now. And we're gonna see what sort of area we're working with as we pick the rune. Okay, so we have Thorazaz as the governing rune of this reading today. So Thorazaz is an energy that can be very protecting. So the first thought and feeling that I got from this when I picked it out was potentially about things around workspace um, if it's not work for you, then it could be just around family members, it could be around people that are around you. I feel like whoever I'm talking to and connecting to here, you are kind of up-leveling, you are um, doing a lot of work on yourself in a spiritual sense. Um, and you're starting to realise that people who are part of your life, or were part of your life, are now kind of becoming you're not resonating as much with, you're not kind of connecting with those people as much, you don't seem to have as much in common, or when you try and communicate with them, the communication seems a little bit defensive um, or aggressive. And this is an energy, if you're feeling that at the moment, I do believe some of you might be questioning yourself there and feeling like, is it me? Am I being, am I triggering this person? Am I a bad person? Um, so if you're feeling like that, just know it's not you, it's the fact that you're on different, you are separating your timeline to somebody else's timeline here. So as I say, this could be around the workspace that you occupy, or it could be around family members. So it might be two different collectives there that I'm connecting with. So take that as it resonates with you. And let's see what the next rune is. So from this energy here, what else can you tell us? Okay, so we have Rado here. So this is a time of, I feel this is created for you, a time to have to make a decision here. Um, and it's almost like you starting to recognize like what your responsibilities are and that you are not responsible for other people's emotions. You're not responsible for how other people respond to your lifestyle or the way that you go about things. All you are responsible for is your own journey and your own path. So Rado is kind of suggesting here about a change of direction and a movement that needs to happen um, in order for you to protect yourself. So it's in order to sort of um, stay on that timeline that you are being called upon because you are raising your vibration here and the people that you are around, they aren't willing to change. They're not willing to um, learn the lessons here. There was something that came through to me, um, I can't remember if it was this morning or last night, and it's kind of about how people through life, you know, when you start to awaken your energy and you start to do things in line with your higher purpose for yourself, you start to notice other people that aren't doing that. And you might want to reach out to those people or they're watching you grow or change and they don't really understand why. This is because these people aren't ready for that yet. They, they don't understand how to manifest the life that they want to live. You have an understanding that you can manifest your life. And some people, they're not quite ready to receive that. They're not quite, they don't understand that. So they're living in a way that actually they feel blocked or they feel stuck or trapped, but they don't understand that they can make a change to that. They don't understand that they can create something different to that but you do and they're watching you and feeling like because they don't understand it they just feel that you're lucky and that you things just happen to you easily and they believe that it's like they've been dealt a wrong hand here whereas so I do believe this might be someone that's close to you that could actually feel like a sibling um it could resonate with sort of like a brother or a sister or a cousin or um, a very close friend that's felt like that kind of energy towards you and um, they're not understanding or resonating with the way that you live because they could never be brave enough to think that they can 
create their own life. So they're kind of going through these patterns, almost allowing themselves to have that. There's a, a memory that's coming through on there about skiing. And it's kind of like if you... Um, say, for instance, I remember going... Um, we were going skiing, but actually we were snowboarding. And um, I didn't really get on with snowboarding that well. And through deep snow, you snowboard. And on this particular snowboarding session, I was just getting wiped out anywhere and anywhere. <clears throat> and it wasn't until this girl pointed out to me, because I was like, what, getting frustrated? Like, why am I the one that can't, I seem to be going in the opposite direction of everybody else, I'm hurting myself constantly. And she said to me, well, it's because you're allowing yourself to be pulled in that direction. You need to be more assertive with how you want to go and have an idea with like what direction you want to go in rather than allowing yourself to just be pulled along. So I feel like there's some message in that for you, for somebody here today. So let's see if there's any more information from the runes for you today about this. I'm getting a feeling of that you're around somebody that's quite stubborn at the moment. It's like they're, they're really stubborn in and stuck in their way of thinking right now. And it's what you need to know is that it's not on you to try and change that person. It's not on you to try and change their mind or get them to see a different way. This is just about you continuing to move forward. And you're, you're going to trigger people in how much you're raising your vibrations and how much things are coming to you with ease. But that's not your fault. Just keep being yourself. Take responsibility for yourself. Keep moving in the direction that suits you. And the outcome of this is Yera. And this is cycles of natural growth. This is a time for you to reap the rewards, the harvest from all of that hard work that you have committed yourself to. And I'm going to say committed because I feel like you have been... A lot of the things that have been going on for you are kind of showing you. It's like you in the past you felt you had to be committed to this particular way of thinking or way of being. But you've learnt now that actually I can create the life that I want. And you are learning to manifest these things for yourself. And you are moving towards this space of harvest. But unfortunately, due to this, some people can't come with you on this journey. Some people aren't ready for it. And this is what Thorazaz is kind of teaching you, is that you may need to place a protection around yourself. Um, you know, you might find that these people are finding themselves being triggered by you or they're becoming more defensive around you because they don't understand your lifestyle. They don't understand your way of doing things and moving because they're not quite there yet. They can't see it. They don't know how that works. Okay, I'm going to pick some cards now to go with this. So is there any more information that can come through on the cards for this collective in here? But I do feel like you are coming into a time that, you know, you've been really inspired lately by a lot of things. It's almost like you're living two lives. It's like the life with the people that you feel you should be around or a dutiful kind of feeling on there. You do love them. They might be your actual family or a soul family. Um, but you are growing out of the pot almost from some people and it's recognising who those people are and that's not your fault, it's not their fault, it's just how things are going for you at this time. Um, we've got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse on here so usually it's quite a slow moving energy so I do feel like actually things are starting to accelerate a little bit on here. Um, you may feel like you're going through a time um, of famine though in certain respects where perhaps you feel like you have to be connected to certain people in your life because of that. Maybe they are supporting you financially or, or helping you through something and your one thing that's holding you back from manifesting this life is that, that fear of not having enough uh, financially. But we have the Three of Pentacles on here so I do feel like you are moving into... Um, a place of people that can work with you on this you you are supported here i do feel like the people that we're talking about here they might not be coming with you on this journey but actually they do love you and support you um but right now they're not helping you to manifest and move forward but there are there is potentially um i feel like perhaps one or two people here that you have started to gravitate towards that are helping you to feel more like yourself 
allowing you, perhaps you've joined um, a club or maybe a coven or, you know, some kind of group that's helping you to really be, feel like you're understood and that actually you are valid in what you're feeling and what you're thinking. Yes, and it feels like these people are bringing you some emotional fulfillment here. It's it's allowing you to step into this energy of love. Um, there's emotional intelligence there. There's a lot of support around you here. So it's almost like you're moving away from things that are triggering you. It's people in your life. Imagine this, you get headaches when you're around them or you feel like your throat chakra is burning when you're around them because you constantly feel like you're having to try and prove yourself or explain yourself whereas this group of people i feel like you may have met them already and this might not be a group it might be one person in particular um but there's somebody who i feel you are starting to collaborate with this is about you coming into a place of being a team player working with other people um you know and keep keep moving forward keep working on this tapestry keep weaving in the things that you're working on because it's bringing you this fulfillment on, a, on an emotional level. I do feel like this could be, whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. Um, this is bringing you into a space of becoming the king of cups, where you're feeling love. You are starting to open up to love. And actually, I feel like what you were rigid in your thoughts about how your life should be, is now you're starting to realise, actually, do I need that? Is that really what I need. So let's see what actions are going to happen for you from this point here. So what actions are we... I keep seeing the word action as well and inspiration. Action and it's something that's really inspiring you right now. Something is really kind of um, helping you to see beyond the challenges in your life and move forward. Maybe it's all the YouTube videos that you're watching. <laughs> Which is great. Keep watching, like and subscribe. Um, let me see. I do, I do see somebody that's having to juggle a lot of things at the moment as well. Okay, so moving forward, actions to take. So we've got the Five of Swords, but it's in the reverse position. So usually when it's this way up, this is kind of like you're in your head a lot. There's a lot of regret there. There's feelings of sort of like, oh, I just can't. I feel like you're moving through that now. You're coming to a place of actually forgiveness. Um, and actually being able to move beyond that kind of, you know, where you were feeling sad before about the loss of something, this is now actually something that you're gaining. And I feel like this could be connected to here. There's, there's a plan in motion here that you have, I feel, that's bringing you towards more love, that's bringing you towards something that's fulfilling you on an emotional level. So you're stepping away from this regret. Um, regrets come up a lot lately actually where people are saying you know sort of regretting actions maybe regretting things I'm just gonna move them down a little bit so you can see them um, regretting things that perhaps you've done or you feel have been done to you and there's a time here of forgiveness of emotional fulfillment it's almost like something has happened that's broken your heart wide open but you're starting to see around you where you're leveling up there are people that they're just not they're not able to do that and as much as you love those people as much as you have a connection with those people you know it feel, it is feeling like they aren't coming with you and in one respect i feel some people excited about the prospect of what's happening here of maybe how you're starting to be seen there's a truth about this that actually excites you but there's also a pain about lack of communication or pain about not being able to connect with people um, anymore on that lower level, yeah? I'm not saying that they're low level people or they, they're bad toxic energy or anything like that. It's just they're stuck in their stories. They're stuck in that path and they're not able to move forward. I just looked at the bottom of the pack and we've got um, justice in here so this is it is about truth I feel there's a truth here and it's one of those where you know once you have discovered the truth about something you can't unknow that truth it's there it's blindingly obvious now 
but it's also can bring up emotion where you know you're sort of like well how do i how do i disconnect from people that have actually been supportive at some point in my life or been around me but if they're not helping you to grow then they're kind of holding you back and this is that space of you know thora's as where it's like you don't have to cut these people off your life you don't have to be defensive around them you just have to keep being yourself in the spaces where you are but if these people are triggering you or making you feel uncomfortable or exhausting you when you spend time with them they're not helping you and so you have to acknowledge the truth within you on that and you have to allow that truth to be seen we have the ten of swords on here as well which kind of confirms that for us because this is um I do feel that for some of you, there's somebody around you or potentially more than one person around you that because they're holding on to a version of you that you're growing out of, they're kind of trying to fix things around you because they're, they're desperately trying to find that version of you that they remember, but you're not there anymore. And it's like, as you can see, the person sort of walking away from here. We have to walk away from the things that kind of hold us in that stagnant energy. Oh, same way on that is. Um, you know, people can sort of, you know, when people go into what we call like a victim mode. Say, for instance, it's like a bit of an emotional blackmail in some senses. And this isn't for everybody. So only take this if it resonates. But I do feel for some of you, these may be family members where perhaps if you're saying I'm going away, I'm going on a journey, I'm, I'm going abroad or something, I'm, I'm going to Bali to do a course or something like that. Some people, because they don't understand that, because they could never do that. They could never find the courage to go and take a journey like that and they don't understand why you would want to. So their way of kind of trying to hold you back might be that suddenly they're not very well or suddenly they they really need you in their life or they they're getting upset they're crying they're becoming a martyr or they're becoming in victim mode and they want to try and hold you back from going and it's like an emotional you're in a space then where you sort of feel almost blackmailed into staying and not going and doing what you want to do and i feel like for some of you this might be a pattern that you're starting to realize has been occurring in your life not just with one person but maybe with different situations and different people and the universe is testing you right now because it's like you've had this idea to do this so don't let anything stop you from going ahead with that because if you do you're holding yourself down into a place where you've actually grown out of and it's not their fault that they're doing this i don't think for many of them they realize that they are doing it um but I do feel like all the experiences that you're having, all of the things that you're doing are actually helping the people around you to grow, you know, and you aren't responsible for those people. Where's Rado? Yeah, you, you are only responsible for yourself and your own journey. And it has a ripple effect through the universe, what you do with your life and where you go with it. Yeah. Ten of Cups. This is a wish fulfillment. This is you fulfilling your cups but I feel like you're actually helping other people around you as well you will inspire other people to do the same um you know there's a there's a feeling here as well that I think you've got a journey to take you've got things that you want to do but it's kind of in line with you know well I am going to come back though I am going to come back and then I'm going to feel more fulfilled and I do believe that actually yes you didn't need to take there's something you need to do that's gonna help you to shed a skin and gain something about yourself. Almost like gaining a soul retrieval, you're bringing a part of your soul back from this experience. <laughs> and underneath it, we have the 10 of pentacles as well. So this is all about what you're doing here, the journey that you're about to embark on. And please know in this video, I'm telling you, if you've had any doubts about taking this journey, please don't. Even if it goes against what everybody's telling you is the right thing to do, this is the right thing for you. And what it's gonna bring eventually is this stability that you're looking for, it's joy, it's family, it's um, 
it's very affluent and you know we've got a peaceful kind of future happening here for you you know it's all here in these cards um there's something about like sacred geometry as well or something like that that i feel there's some um, very spiritual interests that you're going to start to find out about and bring forward with you and i do feel if this is a journey where you are working with other people you know you are about to connect with people and i do, do keep seeing this three so it might be three people here it might not be like um, a couple relationship sort of thing it might be more of like a group of people that resonate with you that are helping you to move forward to drive this forward and um, to understand more things about yourself <sighs> we have the ace of cups as well now i know i've just turned the pack over so this could have been the right way up um, or the other way up. So Ace of Cups is generally about um, a new beginning, a new start, something like that. But just watch for that energy of not allowing yourself to have this start because of how other people feel about it. Worrying too much about what other people think or feel or want from you. Um, I do feel for many of you I'm speaking to a Divine Masculine there rather than Divine Feminine but take it how it resonates because there's something here about people having power over you and this is trying to bring you forward i just have that um was it dermot kennedy song power over you um so it's and there's something about virgos here too so if the energy of virgo relates to you then this might be something for you as well but through this video and through the things that we've talked about here, this is about self-realisation. This is about you knowing and working. I feel I can see some of you actually doing some kind of course or something in Reiki or working with energy um, and bringing that forward. It's like you, something's awoken you to a spiritual side of yourself. And there are people in your life that are like, what? I don't get it. You were never like this before. And you're struggling with, um, realizing that and I feel like it's actually come from a soulmate connection here something something that brought you joy something that kind of made you feel um, like it resonated with the version of yourself that you're trying to grow into but there have been things holding you back that have kind of stopped you from really moving into that energy I just saw the two of cups there as well so that could be a union as well but there's a journey you need to take to help you to just break the chaos that you feel is around you. Oh, we have completion, joy, and travel. So I do feel like what we're talking about here, I see somebody really taking a risk and going traveling. On that travel, I see you doing some form of course here and connecting with people that resonate with you, that are gonna help guide you and be with you. And it's like full circle, full completion, which goes really, really well with Yera. It is seriously time for you to take that journey. So if you had any doubts at all, if anything around this was kind of holding you back from taking that chance, don't let it. You've got to go. You have to go. Don't let anything stop you. Don't let anything hold you back. Even if it means you need to borrow money, you need to ask for some help here, some support. These people are there to help you. They will help you. Um, but this is... This is something that you can fulfill now within yourself and it's going to bring you closer to what it is that you really want and what's waiting for you on the other side of it is the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles so you know if family is important to you if feeling stable and um affluent that kind of thing it's it's all in there it's all what you're working towards and it all starts with you standing in your power protecting yourself um, stepping away from people that aren't coming with you on this journey, that are stuck in their own ways, you know, because um, there's movement here that needs to happen for you. Taking responsibility for yourself. You aren't responsible for anybody else's emotions. You're not responsible for how anybody else's version of you they hold within themselves. Just forgive them for their outbursts, for the way they are, because they're afraid, they're frightened, because they're losing something that they thought they knew, but they will start to see you opening up in your world and what you're doing. And 
trust me, it's all going to be good. Okay, we have the chariot on the bottom as well. So this is hurry, 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 action, accomplishment, um, fast moving energy. We keep getting that card come out as well. So I wish you all the best and do let me know how this resonates with you. Um, I would love to know how things go for you. I do feel like I want to pick one more card, actually. And I think, because when we're talking about journey, sometimes people like messages from angels that kind of help you to just feel protected on that journey and where you're going. And I do feel just called, I thought this this morning, I feel called to kind of pick. So I'm going to pick one more card. I'm going to pick an angel card now for you to give you a message. So if you are taking this time to travel, and I do feel like it is... I'm connecting with people who are about to go on a travel or thinking about it. Um, you've manifested that for yourself. So don't let it slip away. Don't let it go away. And let's see what the angels want to say. So, angels, what are we going to say to this person who is watching here patiently? Ha, take charge and action. So, let's read what that says on here. Oh, you have to use the alpha 